What if we were going through a radical reevaluation of time, as radical as the distinction from higher apes to humans? Where previously it seemed that time happened to individuals, we learned that time is much more pattern directed and interobjectively understandable, that we are symphonically enacting the needed processes to actually fulfill our own understanding of time, that this has been unfolding with and through us as a means to gain witness to the entire process of this unfolding, providing us with the why of temporal unfolding. It has only been through holding time as the subject to an individual that we are becoming able to make time an object, a tool, much in the way humans, with the ability to self-reflect, were able to witness the individual subject as an object. Next, we were able to witness the collection of beliefs as an object, and then a whole paradigm itself as an object that could be used as a tool of evaluation or science. We're now integrating our wisdom systemically, east and west, pre-modern, modern, and post-modern, and in so doing can hold the whole of the historical movement or its gesture as an object to witness. We are making time an object that we can use to perform great acts of service, such as enhancing goodness, truth, and beauty, or its opposite at our apparel. As the spiral of time tightens, culture stacking quickens, and the choice of our direction, either using it to enhance wisdom, to benefit self and other, or to use it for purposes of destruction, will become ever more clear and in our face. The reoccurring patterns of time need to become palpable to be felt in immediate experience, to be made an object by the self. It is in this fire of time that we will quickly learn as it will be the burning that will be unpleasant. To learn the patterns of time, we must speed it up to nearly an unbearable speed. This is part of the process to catch its movement, causing much uncomfort. To learn these great and powerful lessons, sometimes an element of discomfort is attached, and this seems to be a great and powerful lesson we are unearthing or earthing together. Learning to walk with time, move with time, flow with time.